I'm Tara Ostigaraga, an IBM Distinguished Engineer working in the Storage Fusion with Cloud Pack Space. Today, I'm going to give you a high level overview of how to achieve application resiliency with our IBM Storage Fusion with Cloud Pack for Data backup and restore capabilities. We'll go through setting up backup policies, the importance of our jointly developed Fusion and Cloud Pack for Data recipes, and unique capabilities to restore your backups to an alternate clusters, sometimes referred to as early DR. So let's get started. For today's demo, uh, we're going to be working with the Cloud Pack for Data application. Uh, the one that we're going to use is called CPDWKC. So you can see that currently this application does not have any backup policies or backup jobs. So we're going to go ahead and set one up. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the Backup tab and then go to Locations. Um, you can see that I already have one set up. It's called CPD Object Storage. Um, if you look here, you can see the endpoint, which is cloud object storage and bucket that I'm using. Uh, but assuming you don't already have one set up, all you would do is go to add location. You would specify your location name. You would select your location type. Um, in our case, we're using cloud object storage. You can also use Azure, AWS, or any S3 compliant object storage. Uh, you'll specify the endpoint, bucket, and keys. Um, after that, just go ahead and click add location. So now, next, we'll go ahead and set up a policy. Um, so we'll go to the Policy tab. So this is what's going to tell us you know, where to store the backups, which is the location we just set up, um, how frequently we're going to take backups, um, as well as how long those backups should be stored. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new policy. Um, I like naming my policies something to do um, with the namespaces or applications that they're protecting. So I'm going to go ahead and say, CPD WKC policy. Uh, I'll set it to weekly every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 12 a.m. New York time. We'll back up to object storage, and we're going to go ahead and use the storage that we were just looking at, the one called CPD object store. For retention, the default is 30 days. I'm going to go ahead and adjust mine and set it to seven days and create a policy. So now you can see we have the, the policy created. Um, the next thing we're going to do is apply the policy. So we're going to go back to our applications, um, select our CPDWKC application, and here we're going to go ahead and assign a policy and assign the one that we just created. All right, so that's it for a, a backup application, um, the ones with application consistency built in. The process is as simple as setting up the backup storage location and policy to protect your applications. So it's a one-time quick setup, and you're ready to have all your applications protected on a regular, regular basis. Uh, there's another class of applications, though, that don't have application consistency built in. And for these more complicated applications, they have stateful cache data and often complex interdependencies. So Storage Fusion for those uses recipes built for these applications and built-in orchestration to properly flush memory buffers, capture essential metadata and context, and make sure that we put the applications in proper state for backup. So this can also include the backup of services within an application. If there are complex dependencies across services, and equally important, the proper ordering on restore. So one example of those types of applications um, is Cloud Pack for Data. So for this, what we're going to do, um, we're going to go ahead and drill into the application. This is um, Cloud Pack for Data with Watson Knowledge Catalog and a few other um, services installed. So there's you know several services to choose from, but for this one, we're just going to drill down into some of the inventory. Um, so you can see here, uh, we're in the overview panel. Uh, it also shows you some of the information about all of the resources associated with the application. Uh, so there are 41 uh, PVCs. There's 161 or 181 um, pods and 14 stateful sets. So if we want to drill in a bit more to understand, you know, those and, and, and what we can do, we can go ahead and, you know, look in, um, see some of the, the PVCs that are set up. And if you want to drill into, for example, the stateful sets, um, you can do that as well. 
There's also the option here to go into an OpenShift console um, if, if you want additional details about any of your applications. The, the Cloud Pack for Data and IBM Storage Fusion teams work closely together to develop recipes for online backup and support of Cloud Pack for Data and its services. These recipes enable IBM Storage Fusion to backup and restore IBM Cloud Pack for Data and its services that support online backup using policy-based protection. These recipes are automatically created and handled without any end user interaction. So what we're showing here is just a few of the services within Cloud Pack for Data that are supported with the Storage Fusion backups. Additionally, IBM Storage Fusion enables early DR for Cloud Pack for Data in that it's the only solution available today that can backup Cloud Pack for Data, its services and data, and restore those backups to an alternate cluster. Other vendors may claim the ability to restore to alternate cluster or to backup all of the pieces in its entirety, but without understanding and building out this intentional support for Cloud Pack for Data, what you'll end up with is a non-functional restore of all the pieces, but missing the ever important context, metadata, and ordering to restore those properly. Think of it like backing up a thousand piece puzzle. With Fusion, we restore your puzzle put together and ready to go. Whereas without recipes and orchestration, you would end up with all the puzzle pieces, but would lack the context to put them back together properly. IBM Storage Fusion is the platform for containerized applications, definitely including, but not limited to, IBM Cloud Packs. For more information, please see the following chapters of the Cloud Pack for Data or Fusion Storage Docs. Thank you.